Somalia and Turkey recently announced that they would expand the terms of a defense agreement first signed on February 8, 2024 to include the maritime sector. This came as tensions rose between Somalia and landlocked Ethiopia. Ethiopia is seeking access to the Red Sea through Somaliland, a breakaway state of Somalia. Federico Danelli, an international relations professor whose research covers Red Sea security and politics, puts this defense agreement into context. What's the scope of the relationship between Turkey and Somalia? Turkey's entry into Somalia in 2011 started out as a humanitarian partnership, but soon turned into a strategic one. Its support since has been economic and infrastructural, and has increasingly included the military. The Turkish government saw Somalia's failed statehood and the lack of other major international stakeholders as an opportunity to increase its popularity across Africa. Turkey aimed to 1. Gain international visibility 2. Test its ability to intervene in conflict and post-conflict scenarios 3. Increase market diversification into East Africa 4. Cultivate its image as a benevolent Muslim middle power by promoting Islamic solidarity. Several Turkish faith-based associations and NGOs already active in Africa became directly involved in development and relief projects. Major national brands, such as Turkish Airlines, promoted campaigns to raise funds for Somalia. Within a few years, Turkey's involvement in Somalia was portrayed by the government and perceived by the Turkish public as a domestic issue. What's the context of the Maritime Defense Pact between Turkey and Somalia? Turkey and Somalia began working on an agreement between November 2023 and January 2024. Turkey agreed to train and equip Somalia's naval force and help patrol the country's 3,333 kilometers coastline. Turkey's defense sector has had increasing influence in Ankara's foreign policy decisions. Turkey sees itself as an exporter of defense industry products, and as a partner in training special forces and police. African countries are among the main targets for the Turkish defense sector. Somalia, therefore, provides an opportunity to spread more Turkish production and items. What is the UAE factor? When it comes to the Horn of Africa, the UAE plays a pivotal role. Turkey and Somalia each have a relationship with the Emirates. From 2014 to 2020, Turkey engaged in bitter rivalry with the Emirates in the wider Red Sea area. This was driven by the two countries' different visions for the region's future. Relations improved from 2020. During the 2020 to 2022 war in Tigray, both Turkey and the UAE supported the Ethiopian government. But recent developments in the Horn of Africa, such as the UAE-backed ethiopia somaliland deal, threatened to create new friction between Turkey and the Emirates. Turkey doesn't have the political will or material capacity to sustain this. In the past three years, the UAE has supported the Turkish economy with direct investment, changing the balance of the relationship. The situation is similar for Somalia. From a commercial and security perspective, the Emirates is important in Somalia. The UAE manages two key Somali ports, Berbera and Boseso. It's also moving to take over Kismayo, and the Emirates has been one of Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed's principal backers. It would be risky for the Somali President to break ties with Abu Dhabi. What happens next? There is still much uncertainty about how the ethiopia Somaliland Memorandum of Understanding and the Turkey-Somalia Defense Cooperation Agreements will be put into practice. What's clear is that both the UAE and Turkey are becoming more active and influential in the region. And that African dynamics within and between states are closely intertwined with regional and global trends. Read more on our website, worldnewworld.com.